Well, you know what people have been asking for a lot lately? Vegetarian. And if you know anything about me, about my family, about my sister Morgan, we love vegetarian food. And this is Sweet Melissa. Bar's filling up. Get ready to be slammed. It doesn't really matter if you're vegetarian or not. Everyone is just very into sweet Melissa's. Buffalo cauliflower wings. Melissa is fabulous at changing cauliflower or mushroom or black bean into something that just is unique. And for over two decades, Melissa Murphy and her husband, Mark Zears, have turned surviving into thriving with their restaurant, bar, and food truck. We just thought, probably won't make it, but let's give it a try. You went from, <laughs> I hope we make it to 22 years? Congratulations. Are you vegetarian? Yeah. Both of you? No. No. I respect the, the diet, and I eat it at, at home. Right. And here. Selling two lentil loaves for table six. The lentil loaves, amazing. If you didn't know, you would have thought it was meatloaf. Doused in ketchup, just like growing up. It comes with mashed potatoes and a mushroom gravy. It's delicious. What's the first dish we're going to make? A lentil version of a meatloaf. Do you understand that I get mental for the lentil? Excellent. The first thing we're going to do is mash some potatoes. We pre-cooked some Yukon Gold, some salt and pepper, almond milk, and melted vegan butter. What's our next step? The mushroom gravy that goes on top of the mashed potatoes. Olive oil, and then onions. Cremony mushrooms, black pepper, tamari. You can have it today but it's also good tomorrow. <laughs> Water that we use when we boil the potatoes. Thickens it up. You also get the flavor. Ta-da. Cornstarch slurry. It'll tighten up. Let this cook for about 30 minutes. Next, we make the meatloaf? Yeah. OK. Olive oil, onions, potatoes, minced celery, and carrots. A little garlic powder, black pepper, sea salt, pressed red chilies. Soaked lentils and our veggie stock. It takes about an hour or so for it to cook. Okay. We're going to do the next step for our lentil loaf. The lentil mixture we just cooked, a little bit of Tabasco, poultry seasoning, tamari, crackers, cheddar cheese. And that is a fair amount of egg. That's how it works out for us. Okay. It's going into a loaf pan. Ta-da. Yeah. And a little spray? Yeah. Just had to freshen up. Bake at 350, about an hour, 15 minutes. We're going to slam it out of here. Okay. Slice a few slices, crisp it on both sides, steam it just a little bit. Okay. Mashed potatoes, mushroom gravy, top it with some of this tangy tomato sauce. And what's in that tomato sauce? Ketchup, brown sugar, Tabasco, and mustard. Stick this up in the salamander just to heat up that sauce. All right. This right here is like the most tender, moist meatloaf you could find. I mean, it's got great texture, it's got great chew. Love the little bit of crust that you put on it. The vegan mashed potatoes and this mushroom gravy, what I like is how creamy you're able to get them without the dairy. And the kicker to the whole thing is the ketchup, brown sugar, mustard, Tabasco sauce. Really delicious. Mashed potatoes and gravy going down for the lentil loaf. I'm a meat eater, and I don't feel like I'm missing that meat at all. On top of that, she has great mashed potatoes. It's just to die for. 